about this wonderful little car we found. Well, this is a 1939 Crosley, made in Richmond, Indiana. Um, the significance of this is uh, my grandfather started the business that I owned in 1939, which is the same year this car was made. Uh, this was owned by uh, Bill Tyndall in Richmond for 20-some years, and I bought it off of his estate. So I've dolled it up to make it look like a pickup truck that we might have used back in 1939. It has been modified. It's got a four-cylinder water-cooled motor instead of the two-cylinder air-cooled motor, and it's been made into a pickup truck. Now, now how did you do that modification? Uh, the modification was already done before me. Okay. Um, it normally came with a two-cylinder air-cooled exactly. horsepower motor, and this one's got a 26 horsepower motor. Oh, so it's a race car. Well, no, not really. So how long have you had it? I've had it for about two and a half years, three years. Okay. Are you done with it? <laughs> um, yeah, probably. Probably? Uh, Are you I at like the enjoying stage now? Yeah. Um, it's pretty well original other than some of the modifications, so it's right. more of a conversation piece because people just don't know those were made in Richmond. So, oh, I know. And I have I... it in my showroom here at work. Really? Well, what kind of place do you have? It's called Richmond Industrial Supply. It's an industrial supply house. Um, started in 1939. Well, do you want to give the website why we're out here on television, oh, man? It's uh, www.riscoinc.com. That's R-I-S-C-O-I-N-C.com. All right, you never know who's going to see it, who might need some of your services. I appreciate that. All right, man. Thank you for showing us this wonderful little Crosley. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. All right, and you keep cruising with E-Rider. Appreciate it.